the grade one to answer it. So, yes, the grade four class, but so much mark it for it means go with iso nitrate dehydrogenase mutation or wild type in glioma and in glioblastoma. We also associated coordination of the 1p 19q gene. Maybe it go intact or coordinated. Thus, two different types of mutation occur in gliomas, IDH mutation, versus wild, and coordination of the genome 1p19. Speak about schwannoma. Schwannoma is the most common of all nourishes tumor, about 89% of cases. And about 60% of benign schwannoma are vestibular schwannoma. Grossly, it is benign, well encapsulated, slow growing, and nourishes tumors composed exclusively of one cell. We can remember the supporting cells, the CNS, the Schwann cell, covering the peripheral nervous system or covering the peripheral nerves. Thus, it's totally benign tumor. Encapsulated, compressing, non infiltrating, and no areas of hemorrhage or necrosis, no cellular atypia, totally resemble the features of the normal cell, the Schwann cell. It means it is highly differentiated. It can originate from any myelinated central or peripheral nerve with Schwann. Schwannoma by WHO, WHO, it go with grade one. It means it is benign tumor. Schwannoma are solitary in 90% of all cases. The multiple occurrence in the same patient should bring attention to syndrome associated with neurofibromatosis. Sometimes we can find schwannoma and another elsewhere, either on the same nerve or elsewhere. Thus, it may go to confirm the presence of uh, syndromes like neurofibromatosis or schwannomatosis and carrying company. CNS lymphoma is type of the extra nodal high grade non hodgkin lymphoma. It has two types of lymphoma, the B cell and the T cell. Almost go with the lymphoid tissue or lymphatic system. It goes with the lymph nodes. In extra nodal side, we may find high grade non Hodgkin B cell neoblast. Usually, this is large cell or immunoblastic type. This is the worst type of the lymphoma, the high grade, the immunoblastic type. Could be found in the brain. The CSR, the spinal cord, the eye, typically remain confined to the central nervous system, but 4 to 70% of patients is newly diagnosed of CNS lymphoma. 10% of patients relapsed may have systemic disease, thus it may go solitary, including us specifically and exclusively, and may be part of a lymphoma elsewhere. Clinical signs and symptoms totally variable. Maybe with CNS or brain manifestation or system manifestation. So it's rare. But account for to 6% of extra nodal lymphoma and 4% of newly diagnosed CNS tumor. Although this is lymphoma, but we can treat this patient, our patient, with. CNS lymphoma is the treatment of the brain tumors cause. We have therapeutic challenge. The blood brain barrier is one of them. And the drug delivery, the chemotherapy administration and delivery to the brain is not an easy process. Drug delivery is impaired by the blood brain barrier. And cerebral toxicity limit the use of the treatment modalities used in the treatment of lymphoma. Thus, we treat these patients based on the guidelines of the brain 
tumors to other homes. Mostly diffuse large B cell lymphoma. The remaining are T cell lymphoma, Burkitt indolent lymphoma. It may be of different clinical presentation. And now we can discuss the germ cell tumors. The most common CNS germ cell tumor is the germinoma. The other germ cell tumor may be non germinomatous. Germ cell tumor are embryonal carcinoma, mucus sac tumor, choriocarcinoma, and teratoma. When there is mixed occurrence, may go with mixture, mixed germ cell tumor. Germinoma are the most commonly diagnosed form of the CNS germ cell tumor usually occur in the pineal and pituitary region. Thus, any features of CT or MRI with the pineal or pituitary region lesion may go mainly with germ cell tumor, specifically germinoma. Okay, to differentiate also, we have changes occur in the total beta H CG component of the blood, increased level of this enzyme produced by the placenta during pregnancy, placental alkaline phosphate. The germ cell tumor may occur in pineal body, in pituitary gland, and also associated beta CG and placental alkaline phosphatase, uh, which are uh, increased or produced by the placenta. And the pineal germinoma, around 80% of all intrapineal germ cell tumor classified as pineal germinoma. The germ cell tumor association in the increase in the enzymes systemically. This germinoma may be with beta HCG and LDH, yuxac tumor and alpha fetoprotein and LDH, immature teratoma. Maybe in alpha fetoprotein and LDH, with the germ cell tumor, elevation of alpha fetoprotein, beta HCG, and LDH. Choriocarcinoma, maybe with beta HCG and LDH, embryona of all types, and bully embryoma, with also alpha fetoprotein and beta HCG. Finally, the germ cell tumor associated with elevation of one of these enzymes or all of these enzymes. The history of the germ cell tumor before the other systemic patient. It goes pituitary and by name. We have a pituitary lesion or a pineal body lesion. Here is a lesion. We take more enhancement on the right side. The enhancement in the pituitary or pineal actually go with germ cell tumors. And now what about brain metastasis? Brain metastasis are a common complication of cancer and most common type of brain tumor considered to be 10% to 26. 26% of patients who die from their cancer will develop brain metastasis. This is the most common Tumor okay, in adult is a brain secondary or metastasis. You have patients with history and diagnosis of other type of tumors. Systemically, it may be lung cancer, it may be colon cancer, it may be breast cancer, and develop manifestation of a change um, in brain function, mental disorientation, personality changes. According to the site of the brain metastasis, he may go with loss of consciousness or um, problem in the coordination, hearing, expressive aphasia. According to its site, the patient with certain history of cancer will be presented by certain presentation according to the site of the lesion. This patient, of, unfortunately, have short-term survival. Brain metastasis associated with poor survival outcome and poor distance 
clinical challenges. This case is actually involved with palliative brain irradiation, brain dehydrating measurement, systemic treatment for for all uh, in all treatment situations. It usually occurs in the cerebrum, supratentorial, and considered as supratentorial. The diagnostic approach will go with history, physical examination, imaging, like MRI, CT contrast enhanced, and stereotactic biopsy. Then the treatment, we go with surgery, surgical resection, subtotal or total resection, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, radiotherapy and targeted treatment like different types, tyrosine kinase inhibitors, dermal growth factor receptor inhibitor, and angiogenic factors inhibitor also. Radiation therapy is one of the treatment modality depend on the high dose delivery of radiation to a part of the tumor and try to exclude the normal brain tissue. This may be associated with high cure rate and high survival in special type of tumors. Also, it may go with palliation for the brain metastasis or secondary, or to decrease the manifestation of increased intracranial tension for our patient. Thank you very much, and I hope you can now differentiate different types of uh, the brain tumor, CNS tumors, based on the morphology, pathologies, and clinical scenario in the